There we go. Okay, so you barely ate anything. Great. You barely ate anything. Great. So you were starving to death, but then she had, like, very little to eat. So I don't know what's going on with her. I think her stomach's infected again, too. This is stuff she does when she's got a stomach infection. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I mean, she wanted to come home last night. She's home. But she won't eat. So I don't know why you're not eating. Why aren't you eating? Let me go get my scale. Hold on. Wait, where am I for the end of that? 254. Wow, she was 255. You want to sit with me, sweetie? There we go. You sit with mom. Okay. Everyone? This is the deal. I'll do a video about it later. Okay, this is the deal. Thank you, Kimber. She showed me the x-rays last night. She showed me her lungs. And she showed me the stomach is kind of inflamed, too. And if you guys know Coco, that she gets uh, stomach infections. And well, the week before she got sick, I, I remember seeing her go in the cage a couple times after she ate. And when she does that, it means her stomach hurts. Right? So she gets infections in her stomach. So then the doctor showed me the thing, right? The x-ray. Oh my gosh, I have a hard time with stuff some this week. Um, and she says, it looks like there's inflammation. I said, yeah. And then I said, well, a couple of times the week before she came to the hospital, she had, she did, she wanted to go, uh, in after eating, but it wasn't like, like she went in for a second and then she came right out. And that usually means her stomach hurts to me. So that's actually why she takes Medicam. Anyways, so she seems quiet. She seems quiet. 
Hi, Ru. <laughs> what are you doing, Ru? What are you doing? Huh? Who's out there? Who's out there? You were talking earlier. I'm not sure what you got going on right now, huh? What is it? What are you doing? Skim it a dink, rinky dinky dink, skim it a rinky roo. Taller prep head is skim it a rinky dinky dink, skim it a rinky roo. You wanted to be on camera this morning, right? Well, there you go. Okay, let's get back to Coco. Okay, Coco is she just ate another thing that I noticed when she's sick is that she's really hungry. Like she can't wait to eat. Like she's like starving. But then you give her the food and she doesn't eat much and then she goes in. So that's a stomach problem. So anyway, so we gotta clear up the stomach thing and the vet said if she doesn't get better, then um, if she doesn't improve, then we'll take her in for uh, uh, what? A CT scan. Another CT scan. Just to see what's going on. So, in my opinion, Coco is a little bit better. But her stomach hurts and she's not eating. So, there you go. That's the deal. Oh, happy birthday, Paula. Yeah, Cookie passed away last couple weeks ago. I don't even know. Where's my cactus? Paula's birthday. Get ready. go yay okay throw some cactuses in the chat for uh paula paula never misses a video she never misses a picture she never misses a reel and she's on uh all platforms <laughs> Okay, I need to summarize. My, I can't really think right now. I, I was fine, and then all of a sudden Coco didn't eat. So now I'm like, oh my God. You know. I mean, she wasn't, she wants to, you want to get down? She's a little bit. Like, she, she wants to get in, mess into stuff, right? She's just not eating very much. I was fine. Now I can't breathe. Cause she didn't eat. Ugh. Uh, we have the um, she gets the recovery formula at, at uh, the thing. I do have some in my store, but 
I don't really want to give her something unless the doctor says it's okay. But she's fine. Like, look at her. But her stomach hurts. That's the thing. I don't know what she is. Yeah, Coco goes by, goes to the bathroom. What are you doing, Newman? Newman's like my little, Newman's like, can you be cookie, please? He sat my feet on the side. Coco, what are you going to do? Newman wants to be on me all the time now. <gasps> I can't be on the counter. There's too much stuff going on, mister. Look at him begging. This is his begging. He sways back and forth. Try something she loves to eat that she's allowed. I don't even know what she's allowed. If she's got all this heart stuff... What am I supposed to give her that she likes? Everything's got sugar and fat in it, and it's just like, uh, I'm just, I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll ask the doctor tonight. I'll write a question. Yeah, maybe it's the antibiotics. I mean, they thought she was doing really well and she was bright, and that's why she came home. So maybe I'm just being a uh, being a worry wart. I don't know, Balsam. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Like, look at her. She wants to get down and bite Newman's butt. She's mad. She doesn't like fruit. She likes banana, but that's got lots of sugar. I don't know. I'll I'll get her some. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Yeah, she does seem herself, right? Like she's like anxious and her normal Becky and wanting to see Newman and maybe she'll eat when she's in her cage that she's just too wound up about Newman. No, she went right in after Newman wasn't out. I don't know. I'm really having a hard time thinking straight right now. <laughs> hey guys, I wake up and I'm fine. And then I start dealing with life, and I'm like, oh, my God, I can't deal. I can't do it. Right, is I can't do it. What do you guys do? Do you guys have that? Coco, you sit in here, okay? Let's sit in here for a minute. You can chill out. Oh, boy, let's sit here. You sit on my lap. Okay. I know, you're overthinking too. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, one thing at a time. I gotta get these special medications from somewhere and I just, I called the number and it's not on. It's not working, so it's the wrong number, so. Once I got that stupid freeze dryer stuff to deal with at 10 a.m. I got an appointment apparently at 10 a.m. I just got the, got the notice. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's normal. Um, I think she, uh, I think we used to give her something for her stomach. Actually, it was Tums. You know what she would do is the Tums. But I have to ask first because I'm not giving her anything. You do, Lisa? Yeah, you're like me.
And the little cookie, so cute. Did you guys see the video of the aquarium? The aquarium video, I was really excited. Yes, Amy, I gotta be on the phone forever, but I only got him a half an hour. My freezers are working, but he talks so much and I can't. Then I had a sale this weekend so I could get money for my vet book. No, so of course I pile on all this stuff. Then I had, then I decide I'm gonna do crafts and I'm gonna make all these signs. And then I have all this stuff I wanna do. Just, just stuff. I wanna design those shirts. I wanna do a cookie thing. But all I got is, um, All I got is anxiety <laughs> that I have to work. That's all I, that's the only thing I got right now that I can handle. No, I can't handle it. I just, just throw myself in. I gotta, what I have to do is prioritize, right? <clears throat> that's fires. I, I call, I said that was, um, that's my life is I put out fires. So basically prioritize things that need to be done. <clears throat> and the one main thing is uh, printing shipping labels, which takes me so long. Yeah, exactly. You can't do anything because of stress. You're like, so you start something new. Newman really hasn't been itching his face over the weekend. Coco wasn't here. But now he's itching his face. <laughs> 55 projects? I know, you should see my computer. It's like so many tabs and so many screens, all just projects I started that um, I can't seem to finish. That'd be cute. Put that on a shirt. Picture of all the birds and put anxiety, yeah. Coco's good. She's eating. I think she's got a stomach infection and she's home. Uh, we got, I got, I got to leave in an hour to take her back to the vet for her daily treatment. She, boy, she just wanted to be home. Last night she was so excited to be home. You like watching me paint those signs? Well, now I gotta paint a big surfboard and now I gotta paint all the signs for the bird room. So there'll be lots of painting. <clears throat> okay, let me brain. Let me put my brain on. I have to find my thinking cap. Just hold on a second. Okay, so Coco came home last night. She really, she was so quiet and she did not want the camera in front of her at all. Like, not at all. She knows that the camera means uh, she has to, she doesn't have to, or it means that she's getting attention, right? Where she has to kind of A, ham it up, or B, continue on being cute. So she did not want that camera on her. It was funny because she just turned her head like, no, mom, no. And she just sat in this little ball of white fluff all the way home from the hospital. Felt so bad for her. She was just all crunched up in this little ball, like a little cotton ball. And um, I get her home. She says hi to everybody. She's excited. Um. 
all the other birds are going bonkers. So I put the other birds to bed and kept Coco up. Uh, she stayed up with me. She, she wanted a bit of my dinner, so I gave her like a, Normally, she eats and eats until she, there's no more room, so she just had uh, a tiny bit of my potato, and then um, she sat on my lap. Uh, the vet said yesterday that I got my eyes closed so I can think. Funny. So the vet yesterday, she, she thought that Coco was doing really well, and she was pleased. And then she showed me the x-ray and she showed me how usually there's like a clear distinguishment between the lungs and the heart, right? You can see, so on one side of Coco, you can see there's a clear line between the lungs and the heart. Or on the other side of Coco, there is no clear line, it's kind of blurred, right? So that's why the doctor's concerned about pneumonia and stuff. Then she showed me Coco's stomach, and Coco's stomach is inflamed. Like, it's not active. She says it's not active, which means like when she was really sick, it was active. Like, I think it. I think she means like, uh, like, uh, spasmy or something. And then I said, oh, interesting, because the last week she was kind of like where she would. Go, go and be quiet after she ate. And that usually means that she has a sore stomach, but it only happened like a couple times. So I wasn't, I wasn't like, oh, something's really wrong. Like she was fine. Anyways, so then we both just agreed that there's probably something going on with stuff, Coco's stomach. So then this morning I woke up, I went live and I just, I, while well, I went and I made her her breakfast and she was so hungry, right? Like she couldn't wait. That's usually a symptom of a sore stomach for her. She just can't wait to eat. And then she puts something in her stomach and then she only eats a little bit and then she has to go lay down. So that's where we are right now. And I'm taking Coco to the vet in 30 minutes. So I'll talk to her about, I'll tell her uh, about the stomach and I'll ask her, I'll get some recovery formula for her and get her to eat that. I think her weight, I have to look, but I think her weight is really low. I, I thought she was 280 or something, but she's only 255. Phew, I got it all out without, ta without looking. My eyes closed the whole time. Yeah, she was happy to see dad. Uh, no, Paula, if I have to do a CT scan, then my, things might get a little serious. <laughs> I still haven't seen this bill. It'll be okay. I'm not going to worry about it until, until, uh, you get the pain done. Oh, it's just... It's just like kids' acrylic paint. It's not strong. I can't even smell it. And I, I have a super smeller. And she's not. I can't paint with Coco in front of me anyway. Painting is something where there's no birds involved. I will, uh, Paul, if I need to, I will. Yeah, lots of meals instead of big one. Yes, but that that's like the treating it. The problem is the stomach. That's where I'm worried about. And you guys know from knowing us that the reason her stomach gets inflamed, that was where the stick was, and then that was where uh, a piece of fibrous material adhered to the side of her intestines, and it caused a lot of damage, so.
And then people like wonder why I was looking at pictures this morning because I just want people to see why these birds get sick and why they why they suddenly die or whatever from the refuge like Floyd and um, Lucky Lou and all the other birds you guys follow that lived at the refuge. So I went back into my uh, Dropbox where I've had for years and I found all these little pictures. It's like, oh my God, no wonder. These birds lived in a disgusting environment. So, anyways, I did post a TikTok about it. I posted on TikTok if you wanted to check it out. I don't know if I'll post it here. Yeah, Rue's filling in. She's doing a good job, isn't she? Oh, yeah, and I'm going to order a new... Uh, uh, right, that was another thing I have to do today. I need to order another air filter for my... Um, my... Uh, what? Oh, my... Um, I'll post it. For my Austin Air. Anyways, I gotta go because that guy's gonna call in 10 minutes and then I gotta have Coco, everyone fed, and all that stuff. So I gotta go. So I'll talk to you all later and have a good day. And I'll try and go live tonight and if you give me an update if there is any. So thank you, everyone. Have a good day.